Georgia Republicans are choosing a new party leader this weekend. It is doing so at a time when the party is facing down some losses in congressional and legislative seats and scandal among some of its leaders. 11 Alive's Rebecca Lindstrom looks at the challenges now facing Georgia's dominant political party. Harshly criticized for abusing his office, He's Georgia's now, Republican House order. Speaker David Ralston says he will not resign. Indicted for fraud, Georgia's Republican Insurance Commissioner Jim Beck steps aside to fight federal charges. And Georgia Republicans have lost seats in Congress and the legislature faster than they have in decades. Yet Republicans have a newly elected governor and lieutenant governor and still hold every statewide office. Republicans are still in charge and can stay in charge if they adapt to changing demographics and shun corruption, says Republican Clay Tippins. Whatever party's in power has got the challenge of basically keeping their house in order. And Republicans have been in power for a long time. So we 100% have to be on the right side of that and we can't tolerate corruption. Georgia Republicans face real election challenges. Republicans started winning elections for governor in Georgia in 2002. They peaked in 2006, and their vote totals have slid in the three elections since. While at the same time, Democrats have crept closer. Stacey Abrams came within one and a half percentage points of beating Kemp last year. Kemp has responded with a string of high visibility events as governor, mirroring the pace of an ongoing campaign. We definitely have to stay relevant. Tippins was the candidate for governor who secretly recorded Republican Casey Cagle talking about passing a bad bill in order to influence campaign contributions. Cagle went down, but the man who beat him, Brian Kemp, has vigorously advanced a conservative agenda as governor, even as Georgia's conservative majority has softened. But Tippins says Republicans can hold power without changing their values. This is not that complicated. People want you to stay out of their lives, let them build businesses, reinvest in their communities, and be authentic and don't treat real people like children. We don't need to be careful of that, we just need to do that. And where we don't do that, we will pay the price as we should. Georgia Republicans will name a new chairman on Saturday who will serve the party for the next two years. And that sound he or she will be hearing will be Georgia Democrats knocking at the door.